<laughs> like popcorn as well. Mm. I was like seven o'clock in the morning, got in bed. I'd like seen the corner of it popping out of the bag. I thought, what's that? <laughs> A bag of popcorn. Oh dear. <laughs> yeah, it's not good. Hi, I've got to, I've got to say, mate, you're looking phenomenal. I appreciate it, mate. The whole weight loss stuff, you've absolutely smashed it. Even we were looking back on old happy hour clips from when you first came on, yeah. and it's night and day. Like it's, oh, look, thanks, man. I don't even know if we can get away with calling you pie face anymore, can we? No, it has to be done. It has to be done. <laughs> As I say, I'm still a fat bastard. Like I don't, I just, I just less fat. I always just say just less. People go, no, not. It's like, well, I yeah, am. I'm just less fat. Like it's healthier. I guess is the best way to put it. I might, healthier. I might start referring to you as like protein bar face. Or no, I don't. I don't do. I don't. See, I don't, people are like, oh, what's the secret? I'm like, well, there's none really. It's just diet and exercise. Like, right. I think it's it's like the application itself is really difficult because it is hard to like motivate you. I get it genuinely is difficult to motivate yourself and keep doing it. But the solution genuinely is simple: just eat less, eat less shit, and is that ex is exercise and drink water? Yeah, pretty much. Is that where literally what you put it down yeah. to the fo the formula? Absolutely, yeah, hundred percent. I don't think there's any like. Yeah, I don't do, I don't take anything or any supplements or anything like that. I just yeah. Back in your sort of bigger days. Yeah. What would you put it down to? Were you just not were you just eating whatever you oh, wanted? Oh yeah, disgracefully lazy like uh, because obviously working from home, you're not going out like you're not going out. You're not doing any sort of like the thing is when I was in Mackey's, like at least I was eating a lot of crap then, but at least you're walking, like mm. you're doing a lot of feet stuff when you're not moving like and yeah, just I'm talking, you know, horrific amounts of like just eating like just constant like rubbish. Right. Because at the start, because I was like so big, like ridiculous, it was like, I think it was like 27 kilos, or oh, sorry, 27 stone or whatever it was at the start. Like, because it was so much, it flew off to start with. Did it? Yeah, it was like really easy. I could shift like, I, honestly, I, I was shifting like a few kilo a week. Like, I, I was, because just doing like mad fasting and stuff like that. Right. So I wasn't even really exercising. The first few months were just like eating a lot. Less, basically. Yeah. Like, one meal a day almost, nothing but water. Oh, fuck. What was the trigger that made you start losing the weight? Was there any particular reason oh, you started doing it? well, yeah. Do you know what, as well? Until you look back as well, you don't see how bad it was. I didn't realise how bad it was, really. Like, looking, it was terrific, like, looking back. Like, I didn't realise how bad it was. I got in a taxi and couldn't do the seatbelt up, and I thought, oh, fucking hell, like, this is getting a little bit dangerous. Mm. So I said to my mates, we, we were all going to agree to do, like, a little challenge. Like, whoever could, like... I think we're going to do like three months or something. Like whoever could lose the most percentage, we we're going to have like a funny, like, I don't know what the deal was. Um, but they, they were like, yeah, we'll, we'll do it. We'll do it. And then it came to like the day before and like one was like, oh, I'm not sure about it now. And I was just like, nah, fuck it. I'm doing it. I remember just doing like a monster five guys that night. And I was kind of like, right, you know, that's it on the grind sort of thing. So really, yeah. You monitor what you eat now in in your head rather than like writing it down and stuff. Yeah. Like that. Oh yeah. I never wrote. This is the thing. Either I never wrote it down. I never calorie counted. I never wrote it down. Did you not? Nah. It's really bad now because I, I like I'm quite lucky. I I I order a lot of Nando. I eat a lot of Nando's. So like I normally just get like mashed peas, broccoli, and stuff from Nando's. Right. And pasta. It's really weird. It's pretty much all I eat is Nando's and pasta. Like genuinely. It's fucking working, isn't it? I'm really boring, but I like it. I enjoy it. Great advert for how, Nando's. How do you feel differently now? What what physically? Oh, it, it, it's just well, like we play six aside, and like the first time I played, I must have ran for about two minutes, and I thought I needed the defib. Like it was <laughs> like, almost running to the side of the pitch to be sick. Like and now I could probably do all 30, like thirty six minutes if I needed to. I do like a little like six minute breather. A, I'm shocking and. <laughs> but yeah, like it was like when I first run 5k, I'm just thinking, how the hell have I done that? Like it's just if you have a bad meal now, if you have a Domino's or something now, yeah, do you feel guilty with it or not? Yeah, I kind of I, like so. Uh, I'm quite, I don't, I'm quite weird. I'm quite structured in certain elements. Like in my head, I kind of like plan what I like. I like things in my order, so I know already what I'm gonna have for dinner like the next like few days. Oh right. But I know on the way home I'm gonna have a Mackey's. Yeah. But I've kind of like st structured that in. Yeah. So then if like say tomorrow I'm in my head I'm like right I'm having Mackey's now so Friday night I'll have to have a, a healthier dinner. Oh okay. So if I swap that out if if I was like oh fuck it I'm gonna have something bad then I'd feel guilty I'd be like right I shouldn't have had that type thing. Ah. A so, lot of planning is that something you're gonna go into Stevie if you start eating healthier or. Yeah, uh, with my challenge, I've done it quite weird. From day one, I accidentally started only drinking water. It was never a plan, but I've not had anything other than water for the last 30 days. Nothing apart from it at all? <clears throat> wow, no. crazy. And then on day 25, I decided to take out any form of takeaway. Mm -hmm. Subway I could have because it's just a sandwich on the way here. Yeah, like, but you'd be shocked. See, that's the thing. It's like the cat, like, 
that's the thing. Bread is like one of the worst. I, I had a baguette. A, a, people get mental about that. So I had a dry baguette and I love it. Just a crusty <laughs> open Tesco. I love it. I just love a dry crust. Like my Tesco opens at like seven o'clock, which is why I try and get to the gym before because I hate it. I'm like, I need to get milk. I go and I just get a waft of like the bakery aisle is right in front of me. I'm like, I so that's the thing. You have to be so. I'm like, oh, I could just destroy that croissant. And in my head, I'm like, <laughs> in my head, I'm just like, I've just absolutely blasted like the stair machine. I'm like, don't do it. Like, it's not. Mm. Do you want to eat like a, Nando, like a Nando's brownie? They're like 380 calories. And like, yeah. oh, you have to see that now. You order the food. I'm like, yeah. I'm like, I just ran half an hour to eat that. But I'm yeah. like, it's so fucking good. <laughs> it's fries pain, are bad one, I think. Huh? Fries have got loads of. Oh, and I know. I love ch chips. Are like, but I don't eat. This is the thing. I don't eat toast. I don't eat toast. I tend. This, this is a top tip as well, actually. I, well, I tip. I found mm. it's kind of like salvage spider, but if you don't buy it, you don't eat it. Right. If it's not in the house, then I like I normally won't. I normally find if I, if it's not there, I can't eat it. Yeah. So I tend to find that's quite a handy thing. What, that, what kind of stuff are you snacking on? I don't. That's the thing. I don't. If I if I ever do, it's like crab sticks, I guess. And that's the tough part because like, but if I find if it's not in the house, it's probably have a party or something. People leave a bag of oh yeah, someone left like a bag of them like uh, Jim sort of get like twist. Twist yep. Chris. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it, I was like, I found him. I was like, no. I just started scrying. I was like, bin. I just emptied the bin. I was like, no, Jack, no. Like, I have some of them. I have to do that. I've had it with like popcorn as well. Mm. I was like, seven o'clock in the morning, got in bed. I'd like seen the corner of it popping out of the bag. I thought, what's that? <laughs> A bag of popcorn. Oh, dear. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's not good. I just tell, I'm, I'm, uh, yeah, I'm the worst. I'm the worst for that. And it's like them cookies. Uh, like, they come in bags of five, don't they? Yeah. I'm like I just have one. I went to France, ate all five in an evening. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <I eat> a <laughs> it was bloody lovely. You've worked hard for it, mate. Oh, you absolutely, have, yeah, mate. Yeah. Absolutely. I have currently in my in my cupboard at home twelve boxes of matchmakers. <laughs> Is it mint ones? Obviously, I'm very right. He's a matchmaker connoisseur. The best ones are the honeycomb ones. Right, okay. Back a couple of years ago. I didn't even know they did honeycomb. Yeah, this is the thing. People think mint or orange, right? Yeah, that's what I thought they had. They're two of the worst ones. Oh, so okay. So you can get match. You can get honeycomb, which I like. Uh, this year, they've they brought back an old favourite, coffee and caramel. Sounds horrific, but I don't like coffee, so <laughs> I guess, yeah. You'd hate them. Uh, maple and pecan is a good one that they do. Right. <laughs> you turn your nose up at that? No, I would, I would probably try that. Yeah. Gingerbread is another one. There's loads. There's oh, loads I'm out there. Gingerbread fan. There's loads out there. And and happy hour listeners, if you do eat a box of matchmakers over the festive period, please do tweet me a picture of them. Because I want. Why do you have so many in your cupboard? Oh, I'll show you a picture. I took a picture no, if you want. Oh, uh, why? Because I, I I'm I'm proud of them. Yeah, I'm a big fan of them. I was eating a box of uh, box. Of, I think we spoke about it on here. I was eating a box of matchmakers in June on <laughs> on the train, and this man came up to me and was like. You're eating a box of matchmakers in June. I was like, yeah, he went, I respect that. And walked away. And ever since then, I've made it a big thing. Yeah, look, I've got Terry's chocolate orange in there. I've got five boxes of the honeycomb, three of the, four of the uh, coffee and caramel. Come is, that mind. Reese's is that a Reese's? Oh, that is then, a Reese's. Oh. Big old pack of bourbons see, on the top. Oh, see, peanut butter is, oh, I could I could eat out of the jar. I just, I drop, <laughs> it's so hard. Like, it's getting, it's like, it's just getting to the point where it's like so difficult. I just want to eat it like all the time. I'll do, that's the difference. <laughs> I'm the same inside. I just, I just barely eat chocolate. Like, right. I just don't touch it. Are you a crisp man? Yeah, and chocolate. I, I love it, but I, I just, like, I say, away, I don't care. Like, <laughs> But I get called a nonce for like Turkish delight. They actually call me a nonce. <laughs> like, I get called it. I stand on the Turkish delight. That is a bit nonce. It's the best <laughs> chocolate, but it's brilliant. What is it? Is it like? What does it taste like? It's like rose. It's lovely. People it's say it's like soap. It's not. It's beautiful. A fried Turkish delight is lovely. I'm a bueno. Never... That's a bit more of a bueno. Yeah. Right, a bueno. I always have to say the double deckers are so overrated as well. Oh yeah. mate, I yeah. Can't, yeah, I hundred percent agree with that. Is that and like Christmas? Obviously, we're all about he heroes are the best. Surely, I go quality straight. On celebration. That's the worst one, Jack. Mate, but Nestle's the worst. Purple, the purple one with the nut in the middle. Yeah, but they get the roses one. There's Dairy Milk Chocolate, there's Cadbury's Chocolate, then. Roses yeah. are better than Quality Street. Yeah. yeah. Easy. And Heroes are the daylight. best. They're there's Cadbury's, daylight. yeah. Yeah, but Heroes, like, I, I want a festive box of chocolates. If I wanted Heroes, I'd just go to the news agents and get a Dairy Milk. So Roses are better than. Is it Roses are better than Quality Street? Yeah. Yeah. Roses yeah. Are no, Cadbury. Qu Quality Street, Roses, Heroes. Oh, I yeah. disagree. Celebrations. They're decent. The Malteser one's decent. Yeah, the Malteser one is good. I get abused for that as well. They keep calling me Tor a Tory on my stream as well. It's a constant joke. I've been getting that for like just yeah, mad stuff. Yeah, I'm not. Recently. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like, 
Um, I, I literally bought Ambrosia custard, and apparently that's, <laughs> that's just the normal. Yeah, custard, I said isn't literally. It? I said it was a Sainsbury's local where the oh, there wasn't a plethora of custard options available. Like they, they do give me a bit. Cravendale, like give me a beast for. But, Cravendale, yeah. But it's but this is the thing, right? It's fifty p and it lasts for ages. Yeah. I live on my own. There's no one else in my house, so yeah. I drink a tiny bit of my tea. <laughs> I I only get what Cravendale. Do? It's good. I don't mind. This thing, I'm not like a I'm like a milk snob. Like, I only drink Cravendale, <laughs> but I don't. You know, if it's an option, is, I prefer it. Is Cravendale? Is that does that last longer than you? It snack? lasts so long. It does, does it? Yeah. Like for a full week, so it lasts ages. Right. There's, there's another one as well called Bob Milk. Have you heard of Bob? Nah, milk? I won't touch that. No, it's that's incredible. fucking weird. Nah, it lasts about four weeks. Is that, but is, also, is your neighbour is your neighbour called loyal. Bob? I'm brand loyal. <laughs> <laughs> it's healthy, but it's like as good as like having like skimmed milk, but it tastes like having proper milk. Bob's milk. It's that good. does sound suspect. We get we get milk delivered like it's the eighties. Oh, that's so oh. good though. Me and Nan did that. I used to lick the lid like a little bit. Of gold, <laughs> yeah. like, gold top. She had gold top milk. <laughs> yeah, I've had it. Yeah. Oh, it's the best. Lick the lid. Yeah. Well, like the. It comes the residue. It comes like a, a yeah, yeah, yeah. Oil lid, and you'd, yeah. Nans do that. It's a good, the proper nan thing, <laughs> like pink wafers, bottled milk. Oh, standard. you got it all. That blue, makes blue me think ribbons, it'd be all blue ribbons. Yeah, it's such a rubbish. Job. I used to hate. Do you know what? In my lunchbox, a kid, I used to hate getting a blue ribbon. I used to trade. Did you? Yeah, wagon wheels. That was, good, that was a good lunchbox. So I used to, uh, do you know, you know, Viscount, it was, it was bad though. Oh yeah, Viscount was alright. I used to, we, uh, you know, I was a penguin or a club was normally pretty standard. Hmm. You know, you know, I knew my parents were like scrapping if I had like a crap lunch. <laughs> <laughs> if I'd been bad, it, it, honestly, if they, they'd give me cheese, like, and you know I hated cheese onion crisps. I'd get like paste sandwiches, cheese onion crisps. We know minimal effort, but it's the pat lunch in the morning. Like that was a bad. That was a bad after trade. Did you say I know my parents were scrapping? Yeah, if you I... know, like honestly, like if it, yeah, if, if things were well, it was you know I'd get a good. <laughs> yeah, a good sandwich. Like it'd be a nice cheese and tomato, like well cut. You know, yeah. I'd get me sort of your crisps. Yeah. Good little like do you know them little like red box raisins? Yeah. Like, get a little bonus in there. If they'd uh, if like he was fuming and couldn't be bothered, it was like paste in. <laughs> like, yeah, crap bit of bread. You know, you knew you'd get a blue ribbon, like you, you knew you were getting a rubbish lunch. I rate a blue ribbon. I mean, fair play, like that, you know, they I think it's growing up I realised why 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 I was an absolute pain in the ass this morning. Cause my dad said he used to literally use all the loo roll, read his paper before a man drink all his milk. And <laughs> now that I'm an adult and get very like angry when I wake up, I understand why I was a pain in the ass and got Oh mate, I love ribbons. you.